Hello everyone and welcome to Garrock Farms. It is day number five of this series that we're putting together showing you the day to day on a dairy farm while my brothers and I run the farm while my folks are on vacation. So everything's been going really smooth so far. If you have been watching the videos and keeping up with it, you know that we just moved this cow into our maternity pen here to give her a little uh, little time here before she ends up calving. Looking at her this morning, she is uh, starting to bag up fairly quick. So I think she's already hit her due date. I would have to guess by the end of the week, she'll probably be calving. It's currently a Monday, so a couple days here, I, I think we'll have a, a new baby calf on the ground, which is super exciting. She's an older cow, so I'm not too worried about it. I, uh, I have a feeling she will do just fine when it comes to calving on her own. And speaking of calves, these little guys have just finished up with their breakfast. And yesterday, Mason, he made this little pen for him. That was all full of square bales. So he took the time while Owen and I were milking last night and uh, threw out a, a row of bales down there in the alleyway there in the manger. Even though we have some room in the super hut, I thought it wasn't a bad idea with these warmer temperatures just to keep these two over here. We got the room over here. I'm coming down here to check things over anyways and, and check on her. So it's not a bad idea to just keep them down here versus being closer to the dairy barn. We had some scours here with this warmer weather. Nothing too serious. All the calves got through it. Being it's warmer, I would hate for some of those bugs to kind of wake back up and affect these younger calves. So we got the space. They can just hang out here for a while and, and enjoy their, their new pen, their new spot. And they got a, a visitor to keep them company all day. As for her, I think I'm going to let her outside into the pasture out by the maternity pen here, the calf pasture we call it, being the ground is still froze, and, and let her get out of here. That way uh, this pen doesn't get so dirtied up so fast. I mean, we'll leave it open so she can come and go as she wants, but later on we'll we'll shut her in here. We don't want her making a mess out there once the ground starts to thaw again. For now, she can uh, catch some of that morning sun and stretch her legs. While I'm down here, I'm gonna jump into the manger here and, and push up the hay, and then we'll head back up and into the dairy barn, take care of cleaning them up there. appears to be frozen up we're gonna try to spread it letting the cows out went good everybody went out of the barn really smoothly I got half of the chores in there done just have to finish spreading out some hay laying out some fresh bedding lime the walk and then we're done in there I also got to shuffle some hay down uh, into the feeder wagon a little better kind of spread some of them flakes from that big square baler out I also uh, wanted to take care of some of the machines today being it's uh, just myself, I figured I'd uh, mess around with some of that piddly stuff. So we're gonna grease and oil the spreader while we're down here. 
and then uh, we're also gonna grease the skid steer later. If you guys are wondering where Mason and Owen are, it's uh, it's a Monday, so they have uh, school. So I'll see them here uh, late afternoon, and they'll be helping me with chores then, which I'm super grateful for. It's uh, but it is kind of nice to work by yourself every now and then, a uh, little peace and quiet, just kind of you and your thoughts, you know. I'm sure uh, a lot of farmers can relate, which uh, it's not a bad thing every once in a while. You don't want uh, you don't want that every day. Get this thing uh, lubed up. conditions and uh, how my tires are kind of biting in slightly I think tomorrow if we don't get out here maybe a half hour sooner we'll just leave it till tomorrow we'll play it safe up in the yard there the ground looks pretty froze yet but I'm, I'm guessing on the flat here this got some sun a bit earlier I think we're still okay here you don't want to be out here when it's super muddy driving through the field especially on top of a cover crop because you might affect the cover crop which isn't the end of the world but you're also adding compaction and that's something we we don't want to do it's all around you're gonna be hurting yourself long term if you're driving around out in a muddy field trying to get things done you know sometimes you have to especially on them uh, late springs where you, you got to get the fertilizer and seed out there in order to get next year's crop going but yeah you definitely don't want to play in the mud if you don't have to is what I'm trying to say finished up spread manure and, and as I'm getting out of the field here I noticed we're getting down there on fuel so I think I might just stop and get this thing fueled up being we're maintaining stuff today then uh, I won't have to think about it for the rest of the week and we'll just be we'll be done with it so I'm gonna stop and grab some fuel before I uh, put this thing back in the shop I went to fuel up early because uh, I think we're out. I think our barrel is empty. I'll have to check and see and make sure that they didn't order it already and it's coming this week. Otherwise, I'm gonna call and get some ordered. Uh, I think we'd be safe. I think we'd make it to the end of the week, but I don't know about the start of next week. So we might as well get some fuel coming. Good thing we were proactive because that would have that would have sucked to run out of fuel midweek or over the weekend. Would have been even worse. Sounds like a drum. Nice to get that grease in and stuff out of the way. We'll take care of that skid steer later this afternoon after the cows are in. As for that fuel, uh, it'll actually be a good time to get that refilled. I think fuel prices are relatively low right now. We're gonna use it regardless. And we're not buying, you know, thousands and thousands of gallons to where uh, it's really gonna impact us that much if we don't play the market super hard. Let's get back to uh, taking care of the, the cattle side of things and, and get this dairy barn finished up.
Okay, I am back out and at it. Just let in the cows and uh, man, it is beautiful outside. So beautiful, I am gonna pull the skid steer outside to grease it, take the bucket off, things like that. It's just too nice not to work outside. The only bummer about uh, the weather outside is it's uh, kind of muddy, but it is just feeling nice. Sun's out, 50 some degrees, light breeze. Beautiful out here. Let's get the skid steer out here and, and get it all greased up. Out of grease. It's good to have that done and out of the way. That uh, skid steer and the manure spreader are definitely one of the two more used pieces of equipment this time of year, especially when it comes to pieces of equipment that uh, have a lot of moving parts. And it just popped in my mind seeing this in the background um, to update you guys on the Oliver. I think we do still have a, a coolant leak and it only seems to act up when we when it gets really cold and it sits around and starts in the cold and then we definitely have an issue there but uh, we haven't dug into it yet, but there's a, a quick update on that. The main reason I came in here was to uh, grab a straw bale. We are out of this nice wheat straw up in the dairy barn, so I am gonna grab a full bale and bring it up there. As for the alfalfa in that feeder, we're getting down there, but they haven't quite uh, cleaned it all up yet, so maybe tonight or tomorrow morning, they'll get a nice big alfalfa bale as well. So let's uh, take advantage of this nice weather and uh, Get this uh, straw bale moved out of here. And there you go, skid steer is staged and ready to go for when we need that alfalfa bale. Hello everybody, it is now the next day. The morning chores went really well. Last night's evening chores went really well. Checking back in here, we got a busy uh, midday chores session. We have silage day today. We have to move a bunch of feed today. But first I'm gonna take care of the dairy barn, let out the dairy herd and uh, clean up in here I already scraped up out back got a nice clean lot for them to go play in for a couple hours so this last half of the video will be more of the 7405 in the dump wagon some more equipment uh, moving uh, as for the manure I am going to leave that on the spreader overnight and then haul it right away tomorrow morning it's a cooler frostier day so I might be able to get away with it but 
I'm, uh, I'm not gonna mess around. We'll take care of it tomorrow morning. I also want to remind you guys mid video here that if you haven't already to subscribe, share it with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it. Also make sure to check us out on gearockfarms.com. That's our uh, website. We sell some hats on there and we'll be selling some other stuff in the future. So keep checking that and uh, stay tuned for more on uh, Gearock Farms. But enough for talking. Let's uh, get to work, get this dairy barn taken care of. Okay, now that we're done in the dairy barn, we'll move on to uh, the silage uh, project for the day. Get those two dump wagons of silage moved. Those guys over there almost have it cleaned up. And these guys, they'll have some hay in the way that I'll have to push up once we get over there. I'm walking back out to the yard. Some uh, world news. Did you guys hear that Toby Keith passed away? I'm probably dating this video. It'll probably be two, three weeks after when I'm filming this, but that's crazy to hear that he passed away. And he was fairly young yet, but it kind of made sense with the type of lifestyle that, that singers like that live. It's really sad to hear. And it also makes me nervous because he's one of the first singers from like my childhood when he got popular when I was a kid that have passed away. I'm getting older, it's scaring me. But leave comments down below if you enjoyed listening to Toby Keith's music. And if so, what was your uh, your favorite song? I'd be interested to know. He's got some pretty good ones, you know, like all those patriotic ones, especially around 9-11. And then some of his happier songs, you know, like Red Solo Cup. He had some pretty good music. So let me know down below what uh, song of his you enjoyed listening to.
finally got both of the dump trailers taken care of. Both of those loads of silage are up in the yard. I'm gonna run back down, grab the skid steer, and then bring a bucket full to that uh, number 11 that we just put into the maternity pen. And then I'll use the skid steer and, and push up some of that in front of the bull barn and spread it out nice and even. So there you go, all the silage is done. Day six is going very, very well. Thank you all for following along with this series. As for the rest of today, it's pretty repetitive stuff. If anything exciting and out of the ordinary happens, I'll, uh, I'll tune back in with you guys. But I think we're gonna end off the video for today. All that's left to do is let the cows in, go get some lunch, and then uh, give it a couple hours and and start afternoon chores. So thank you all for making it to the end. Thank you for the support. Remember, go check out GearRockFarms.com and uh, we will see you guys next time.